That all obedience, all ta'a is completely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, exclusively, and not to anybody else. Any form of ibadah, any form of worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning to democracy, to freedom, to secularism, that is the shirk, the shirk ta'a, the shirk of obedience. And that is why we as Muslims, we can never accept any laws which these kuffar they bring in. Whether it is the likes of Hosni Munafiq, Hosni, Hosni Mubarak, whether it is the Syrian government, whether it is the French government, whether it is the Spanish government, whether it is the Belgium government, no matter which government it is, we recognize them all as bancha tawahi, bancha kuffar who ruled by other than what Allah has revealed. And the ayah said in the Quran, in al hukmu illa lillah, that the right of legislation it is for none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. No, for none. But for none but Allah alone. So how is it now we start to accept the law of man where man he wants to impose his democracy over us? How is it that we want to accept the law of, uh, of insan over us where man he wants to say to us Hakamiyatul insan when we believe that hakamiya, the sovereignty, the supremacy, it belongs to none. He said, He said, Who from amongst you he sees the munkar, let him change it by his hand. And if he cannot build the let him speak out against it. And if he cannot, let him hate it inside, inside his heart. How is it, my dear brothers and sisters, that we will remain silent when our brothers and sisters are being oppressed all across the earth? Rather, my dear brothers, we understand. Al Muslimun, Ummatun Wahida min Durin Nas. Aardahum Wahida, wa Harbahum Wahida. The hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that the Muslim Ummah is one Ummah, one unique Ummah, with the exception to all others. Their land is one, their peace is one, their honor is one. And any one of you can stand up and represent them. So, how is it, my dear brothers? And sisters in this time we start to remain silent that I and the Quran my dear brothers he said he said with regards to this ummah he said kuntum hayra ummatin ukrijitil nas ta ma'una bil ma'roof wa tanhawna anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah Allah Azza wa Jal he described us by having three qualities three characteristics that this ummah must have it must possess in order for it to be considered the best ummah raised up from amongst mankind number one ta ma'una bil ma'roof they command good they forbid secondly the evil and thirdly that they believe in Allah Azza wa Jal how is it, my dear brothers, that we claim that we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yet we do not enjoy the, enjoy the ma'roof and forbid the munkar? Rather, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to have the qualities of a ta'if al-mansura, of uh, ahl sunnah wal jama'ah, of a'immat al-huda, of al firqatul najiyah, to be from amongst those people who believe in at tawheed live by the sharia, and who are willing to die for the da'wah, who are willing to die for la ilaha illallah, who are willing to stand up and proclaim la ilaha illallah over the noses of the kuffar. And this, my dear brothers and sisters, for us nowadays, it is the greatest jihad that we can engage in. Allah Azza wa Jal, He gave us the opportunity to make that jihad within the West. What is that jihad? The jihad to speak the word of truth against the tyrant ruler. And by Allah, we will never stop speaking the truth. We will never stop speaking the haq. And we will speak the word of haq against those tyrant rulers, even if it costs our neck, even if it costs our blood, my dear brothers and sisters. We will stand for the haq and we will speak why we've been created. To worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. To make all of our actions and our sayings as ibadah for Allah Azza wa Jal alone. At tawheed Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is what we, uh, what we believe in, our deen. We believe in tawheed. We live by the sharia and we're willing to die for it by the da'wah and by the struggle fi sabilillah to make the word of Allah the most high. So how is it, my dear brothers and sisters, when man in sand, who is less than the kafir, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, the kuffar, they are like the animals. And in the tafsir of the ayah, the animals, Animals, the donkey, they complained to Allah Azza wa Jal. They said, how is it that you can make the kuffar equal to us? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he responded by saying that, nay, no, the kuffar, they are less than the animals. When they are less than the animals, when those same kuffar who are Allah, he described to us as less than animals, when they want to come to us and impose their law and order above our necks, how is it that we can accept this, my dear brothers and sisters? When the ayah said in the Quran, in al hukmu illa lillah, that the right of legislation is for none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We can never, and we will never ever accept the law of man. We will never ever submit to these laws, whether it is in France, whether it is in Belgium, whether it is in Europe, whether it is right here within Britain. Rather, my dear brothers and sisters, we should be people when we hear the ayah, Ya you aladina amanu, O you who believe, the Sahaba, how did they used to respond to this ayah? They used to say, Sama'na wa ata'na. They used to say, we hear and we obey. And that is exactly what we as Muslims should be doing today. We hear and we obey nobody. Nobody in the land of the sea. No man, no government, no queen, no prime minister, except the law of Allah. In al hukmu illa lillah. The right of legislation is for none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And over their noses, my dear brothers and sisters, we should be people who do 
destroy the Sunan, the idol of democracy, the idol of freedom, the idol of secularism. Rather, my dear brothers, we should be people who call for Allah in the East and the West. And the ayah said that the, the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, La atukum sa'a. He said, the hour, the day of judgment. The, 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 the day of judgment, Yom al Qiyamah, will not come until a group of Muslims they rise from my ummah and they will conquer the White House. My dear brothers and sisters, you can see the downfall, downfall of the Kuffar. You can see how the plots and the plans of the Kuffar they're completely failing. The ayah said in the Quran, that they plot and they plan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's the best of planners, my dear brothers and sisters, and especially for those non Muslims who are listening. You can plot and plan against the believers. You can wage this ideological war against, against the deen of Islam and against the Muslims. But by Allah, you will lose. You will lose in the East and you will lose in the West. And the victory, the raya for Islam, the raya, the flag of lies, alayhi my dear brothers and sisters. And for all the non-Muslims, they should be aware. It will be flying over Downing Street. It will be flying over the White House. Islam, Islam is superior and nothing can supersede it. And Islam, it will prevail. Islam will dominate.